Tom Campbell here. If you find something of significant value in our videos, please consider supporting their production through our Patreon account or through a one-time donation. The links are in the description below. Thank you and enjoy the video. Yeah, and we need to wait, and we need to wait until the corona is over so we can have airplanes. But I hope my dream to go to the immersive comes true today. <laughs> it will. Well, we've had <clears throat> we've had some um, uh, immersive. We have one immersive now that's been entirely digital. It was online, and most of the people who were there really liked it. Uh, matter of fact, we had several people there who had been at both. They had been at the you know, live bodies one, and they had been uh, now at this this uh, digital one, and there was one person that liked the live one better, but there was three or four that liked the um, digital one better, and there was a couple that said that eh, they're both about the same. So, going to a digital one is not a it's not like a, a big step down from having the, the live experience. It's just about the same thing. That's what most people would say. So those then aren't so much troubled if you're far, far away, except it may be in, not be in your time zone. So you may, you know, it may be uh, outside your time zone. But we have another digital one coming up this month. And I think this one's still going to be in central time zone, but the one after that, we're going to get up and start at like, you know, six o'clock in the morning here so that the people in time zones further, further east going toward Europe will not uh, have to, you know, not have to stay up so late. So we'll start getting up early to, to make more like a European time zone. And we could probably do one to make more like an, an Asian time zone as well. Uh, you know, it's a little harder on us, but it's not that it's not nearly as hard as getting on an airplane and flying for 14 hours. Yeah, yes. Uh, the, the sad thing is we cannot take pictures with you, but uh, it's OK. I think it's, the first the first thing is, is maybe we can we can try the virtual one and maybe the, the, the after one would be with the real life. So step by step. Well, you know, we you could take some pictures we have. Well, during this thing, we have breakout rooms because we didn't want to minimize the importance that people get from interacting with the other people who are there. You know, that's a really important part of it is that interaction, meeting another 50, 60 people that are, you know, on the same track you are. That's that's really important. And to discuss how they're doing it and, and how, how it's going on with them. So we wanted to keep that going. So we had these breakout rooms where people would get to socialize and interact with each other um, at other at other times. So we tried to, to add that too. And we could also have a breakout room, if you like, that would be pictures with Tom. And it would just be two people in a room and it'd be me and the other person. And we'd each fill up one half of the screen and we could record that, you know, and you could take pictures if you want. And, uh, you know. I mean, we can get pretty close digitally to what you can get live. Wouldn't quite be, you know, the one thing we cannot digitize is hugs. Usually during these live events, there's lots of hugging going on. And a digitized hug just isn't the same thing, right? right? It just doesn't work out so well. But all the rest of it, you could still get a picture. It just isn't uh, quite the same. So, That's a good idea, Tom. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so, so uh, you know, for people around the world now, travel is just really, really hard. And it's it's even harder for us going other places because the U.S. has been so bad about dealing with this crisis that now we're persona non grata, you know, most of the world. If we come someplace, we have to spend 14 days locked in a room before, you know, we're let out. So that's even if they'll let us in. So traveling is just very difficult right now for everyone and probably, you know, 
long lines, very obnoxious process to go through, I suspect. Besides, you get stuck shoulder to shoulder with a bunch of other people. I mean, even if there's only half a plane load, that's still dense pack as far as anything else, you know. They'd have to make a quarter of a load or a tenth of a load to give people six, eight feet around them without any other people. So anyway, yeah, think think more not about the live thing, but think about the uh, digital thing. It's really it's really better, and we're going to try to do close to one a month. So that's a much higher rate because it's just that much easier to do for us. And it's much easier to organize because we don't have to find a hotel or a you know uh, uh, you know we don't have a place for the meeting. We don't have to have food. We don't have to get menus. It's it's just so much easier to put on. And so much less expensive so that we on last one we did I think we charged less than half price of the of the price of of uh, you know live bodies because it's it just doesn't carry all the expense and lead time and investment that the that the hard that the body to body one does so yeah think digital and and get in touch with uh, Don and Keith at MBT events and see when one's scheduled and if it's not convenient in your time zone well let let them know and maybe we can work something out but still it's a whole lot easier to stay home or go get a uh you know an inexpensive hotel room that you share with a couple of other people you know to do this than it is and, and do it even in the middle of the night because it's opposite your time zone that's still easier than getting on an airplane spending Two thousand dollars to fly, hotel rooms, you know, all of this stuff, and then um, you know, be jet lagged through most of the program because you've been flying, you've been flying all night, so you're totally tired, and then you go through the program jet lagged, and you spend all that money, and then you got to go home, get in a plane for another bunch of hours. Um, that's still way harder than just getting up in the middle of the night to do the program. And then sleeping during the days. So, I I love the digital. It it uh, it's a lot easier for me to do uh, to do digital. And Keith's been holding events now um, every month or so. He holds an event that is kind of a just a get together. You know, people come. It's a um, let's see. What's the proper name for it, Donna? Your uh, the event you had last few days ago. The um, um, are you speaking of the online? Uh, let's see, MBT Immersive Open House. Yeah, yeah. MBT Immersive. That's it. MBT open Immersive house. Open House. That's the right thing. And um, they happen monthly, don't they? Yes. And yeah. also the global, the MBT outpour and global healing. And we have something new, the MBT from head to toe Q&A event. That's a one day, all day question and answer event that we we'll charge you just a little bit of money for. Um, the other two are free. The open house is free. Lots of people can talk. It's open for 18 hours uh, to accommodate all uh, countries. And then the, um, the global, uh, the MBT outpour and global healing is from one to three, and that's uh, the next one is July 11th. That's um, that's uh, one open one to three, but there's a 20 minute global healing there. But there's talking in between mm -hmm. too. Should we officially start our um, our I thing, Oliver? Hopefully, hopefully, we've already started it, but not officially. Oh, okay. Uh, I suspect we should. Okay. I think we. I hope so because I'd like this to be part of you know what people get to hear. This is important. Oh, yeah, you know? okay. We're putting a whole lot of new things out digitally so that you will have people to go interact with and to talk to and and yes. make uh, you know make friends, people you can talk to about these things rather than being isolated. Uh, so we're we're doing a lot right. now digitally that we weren't doing before. So kind of find out about it and and. Uh, Get with it because it's mostly free or not all that expensive. Yeah. It's some of it. Some of it's going to have to be paid because you know we also still have to pay our rent, put gas in the car, and do things. So we need a little income. 
now since Pamela retired, you know, both of us are retired, so we have very little in common. Don and Keith do this full time. They're full time volunteers, so they don't have any other income. So we have to get a little bit of money in for some of it, but we're trying to make it as cheap and as much of it free as we can afford to do. So we're, we're, we're hopefully we will have one to two things close to one to two things a month going on. So that um, yeah. that's better than before when you have to wait for six months or eight months before you get a, a you know a brick and mortar mm -hmm. kind of an event coming into into your area. So I think we're actually doing probably going to meet more people and and uh, spread more good news uh, this way than we were doing with with the old uh, you know body to body way. It's been very effective. And as Tom can can attest to, it's the energy is just as powerful, and perhaps in some cases more so. At least from his perspective, he's able to see you just as you are on the screen here, um, up close. When someone speaks, if you're in a certain um, frame, if you're in a gallery frame or speaker frame, you can see the person up close. You can see the emotions. You can certainly. Uh, feel the energy and a lot of times with the the global healing too. It's quite amazing. It's it's really something you should try it yeah. and see. Yeah, yeah. One of our big concerns was that in the in the body to body when there's always this big bubble, this energy bubble that would kind of surround the group. You know, we'd get into it. Started. It was pretty weak on day one. Start to pick up a little bit on day two. But the time you got to day three and day four, there was this palpable sense of of community. I just call it an energy bubble that was around everybody and you could feel it and everybody was getting a lot more out of it and becoming more successful just because of the the we say the uh, collective consciousness bubble that we were creating for ourselves in that group. And uh, we were wondering, is that going to actually happen if it's digital? And it did. So when we had that digital one, it was just the same thing. The It doesn't matter. Space is irrelevant. If you've got 60 people together and they're all working together and they're interacting and they're seeing each other's pictures, it works exactly the same. You, you can create that collective consciousness bubble uh, digitally just as easily uh, as you could before. So yeah, there wasn't any, any of the main, all the main things worked really, really well. So, yeah, let, we've, matter of fact, they work so well that we've been thinking about, we don't really want to do any brick and mortar things anymore. We have a few on the boards that we've got to work off yet because they were all in planning, but we don't really want to do them because they're too expensive, they're too much trouble, uh, and they don't work any better. So, yeah, you get the hug, you get all those hugs, but hugging and having a, a, a a sometimes fatal communicative disease about, you know, those two things just don't mix very well. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, Donna, go ahead. Let's get a, let's get official. Okay. Let's get officially let's get official. started. Let's get official. Yeah, let's get official. <laughs> right. Tom Campbell here. I and MBT events. Hope you liked this video. We now have well over a thousand hours of free video on this user-friendly, ad-free YouTube channel. Though these videos are free to our viewers, they represent many thousands of hours in production and editing, and many thousands of dollars invested in video and audio equipment, along with the required computers and software to store and process the raw video into finished products. So far, all of this content has been funded directly out of our own pockets. Be assured, we will always continue to do what we can. It's our life, our purpose, a labor of love that we will continue to pursue as best we can. However, those pockets are not as deep as they used to be. Thus, we are now seeking to augment our resources with support from our viewers. If you find something of significant value in our videos, please consider supporting their production through our Patreon account or through a one-time donation. The links are in the description below. Thank you.